Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For those of you that are new my name is Megan and I am so excited to film this video today so I hope you're all okay. By now you would have already known what this video is by the title and that is the Dyson Airwrap unboxing video and I have got the new Dyson Airwrap in complete long. I have got it in one of the new colourways which is the nickel and copper um, colourway. I haven't even gotten it out of this box yet which is, I'm just so excited. I've wanted one of these for so, so long now and they're always out of stock and you try and put them in your basket and then when you put them in the basket it goes out of stock again. So I'm going to unbox this with you guys today. As you can see I haven't even seen it myself yet and then what we'll do is we'll have a little chat about all the new attachments. I'll do a first impressions as well and then I'll also answer a couple of frequently asked questions as before I got this new one I had some myself which I will explain later on in the video but yeah let's just get on with the unboxing. This box is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. I really do think that it makes it look like a high-end product. Um, as you can see, it's a gorgeous like navy blue and on the front it says Dyson. So first things first, when you lift the lid off, the um, lid also acts as a heat protecting mat. I believe that old Dyson had a separate kind of thinner mat and the lid was attached to the box, but I actually think this is a lot better. You know, it's a two in one and oh, I just love it. And it feels really nice as well. So the first things that I will show you are the smoothing brushes. So you've got the soft smoothing brush and also the firm smoothing brush, just I think if your hair's a little bit more coarse or you've got naturally curly hair they have updated these for the new model as well i believe in the first model these kind of didn't move so i think you just kind of got air come out of the sides whereas as these move around you get the airflow as you move it um with the with the air wrap so it will be a lot easier to um, dry your hair, I believe. I'm actually really excited to use these brushes as I think they'll be really, really handy. Although I'll probably use the um, softer one as opposed to the firm one, but you can see they just move like that. So the next thing, which was in the original air wrap as well, is the round volumizing brush. I believe they have changed the material of this. I think this is now um, like a titanium or something, whereas before I have a feeling it is um, plastic. I don't know if that was to do with overheating, why they changed the material of it, but there was obviously a reason. I just love the gold on it, it's just so nice so pretty i'm so excited to use this i've actually wanted one of these for such a long time so on to the new attachments which the original air wrap doesn't have 
So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the Coan Coanda, is that how you say it? It's the Coanda smoothing attachment, which is this one. So this is to smooth down all of your little flyaways that you get. Now they don't have this in the original air wrap, they just have the original like hair dryer thing so I will put a picture of it on the screen. The only reason I know this is because when I first saw this, this was what was kind of making my decision between the original air wrap and this one because I didn't think you've got a hair dryer attachment with it. I thought they just replaced it with something that smooths down your flyaways and I was kind of like, well what is the point in that if I've still got to have a separate hair dryer to make my hair 80% dry before I can use the air wrap but actually this little nozzle at the top here there's different um settings so you can turn the nozzle I can't work out how to do it well I'm on the camera um, there's too much pressure but you twist it and basically it turns from a flyaway and this part is the hair dryer so I think it's a, li a lot more um con like a more concentrated airflow so you essentially you would use this as like a hair dryer on the end of your air wrap and and then you would twizzle it around the top and it will flick to do the flyaway. So I'm actually really happy about that. That is what made my final decision to go ahead with this one. So I'm really excited to see how the flyaway attachment works. And then the final attachment is something that I didn't realise was different to begin with either until I did a little bit more research and that is actually the curling barrels again they're called the Coan coanda airway whatever that is but in the original air wrap you get four barrels and in this one you only get two that's because you get so you get the 30 millimeter one and the 40 millimeter one this one in the original one the reason you get four is you get two of each depending on what way your hair wants to curl so you would kind of, um, on these arrows at the top, you would have one with like a left arrow on. And then if you wanted to have your curls doing the right arrow, you would have to take the whole head off and reattach that to your air wrap. Whereas this one, you can basically leave it on and then you just swap between the left and right by twiddling the nozzle and you can leave it on your hair. So I don't know why they didn't do that to begin with, but I think that is a really good idea and the same for obviously the 30mm one. They do do a skinnier one now as well, the 20mm one, but I believe you have to buy that separately in the Dyson Air Up, so that might be something that I look to try in the future. The main beauty itself, the actual air wrap. Now, I have no idea how this works. My friend Georgia, she actually did my hair when we went on holiday with her air wrap and that kind of made my decision that I wanted one, but she used it so i don't actually know what you have to do on here so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of research but yeah that is basically the unboxing and i just i just love the box so so much so what i'm gonna do now is just answer a couple of frequently asked questions if you're kind of deciding whether to get this one or the original air wrap this one at the moment is retailing for 4799 I believe and the original one is still 450 so I haven't used it yet but in my opinion I would just spend the extra like 20 30 pounds and get the new one um, just because it has got those new added features on it so a frequently asked question that I discovered when I was doing my research for the Dyson air wrap is will the new attachments work with my existing air wrap styler and the answer is yes so if you already have the air wrap, rather than spending another 400 odd quid, 400, 500 quid to buy this new one, you can actually just buy the new attachments separately. So if you wanted one of the new barrels, you could buy this. Or if you wanted the um, flyaway attachment, you can just buy this on um, its own and that will attach straight away onto your air wrap. So you're gonna save yourself a little bit of money there, but you're also gonna benefit from um, trying these new attachments another frequently asked question is what is the difference between the long barrels and the short barrels um now as i said earlier i do actually have the long version i believe the short versions are probably like this this long um between here um and basically it just depends on the length of your hair so i believe if you have um hair above sort of shoulder length um or above your chest then the shorter barrels 
should be fine if you have hair that's longer than chest hair probably like my length or longer or maybe a bit shorter then you should go for the longer barrels as i mentioned in the previous question you can buy these attachments separately so if you can only get your hands on the short barrel era and you want the long attachments then you can buy them separately or vice versa as well or maybe you've got short hair now and in the future you decide to grow your hair and then you actually need the long barrel that is always an option for you as well so that's really handy to take into account another thing to note as well is probably not a frequently asked question but um the new Dyson Airwrap does come in four different colorways so I'll put them all on the screen now um mine is actually a new colorway I don't believe the original Dyson Airwrap comes in the nickel with the col with the collar with the copper oh I've just figured out how to turn this I was sort of holding it but yeah so you click it like that and it's a hair dryer and then when you want this bit to be in the flyaway you twiddle it around and it goes in there but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip one of these bad boys onto the air wrap. I'm going to make my hair a little bit damp and then we'll do a first impression of the curl. I'm so excited. What I think I'm going to do quickly is because I have dark hair and I'm in a dark top, I'm just going to go put something light on so then you can actually see my hair against... Um, my clothes <laughs> perfect so hopefully you can see my hair a little bit better now oh i just squirted that right in my face i don't actually have a mirror where i'm sitting so i'm trying to use the viewfinder to uh to do this bit so we'll see how it goes but my hair's quite damp now so let's just click on the hair dryer effect and we'll just see how that works <laughs> so i'm imagining okay i think that's locked on and then there seems to be three different power things here and then this is an on off and then i think this is hot versus cool maybe so so that was actually dried that bit of hair really quickly i know it wasn't much so for the sake of this video i think i'm gonna do one side with the thick 40 millimeter barrel and then the other side with 30 just to see the difference so if i pop this in and lock it and then i believe if you're looking in the mirror you have to put it on the arrow that's like away from your face so can you see that's on that way so it's pointing that way i can't think because that's my left but you're right i think um, and then I'm going to use it on this side of the face. Does that make sense? Now I've got it on the lower setting at the moment just to see. So if you can hear me, I'm going to kind of let it attach. It's, oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love this. This is so fun! I don't know how long I leave this on for. And then apparently if you do a cool shot of air, and then... Let's get rid of all of this. Are we ready? It vibrates when you turn it off, it's so weird. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my god, I'm so excited. See that bit's not included. So that is the 30, no, that's the 40 millimeter barrel. So that is the larger curl. Obviously my hair hasn't been washed. This is kind of pretty much on dry hair as you saw. And then if we swap this, I'll do the 30 millimeter barrel on this side of my hair. Let me get rid of this. Sorry, my cat Maisie's in here. If you already uh, subscribed to me, you know all about Maisie. Are you alright Maze? What are you doing? I don't know what she's doing. She's up there at the photo frame. So, same as before, if I do it on the arrow facing outwards.
Wow. So that is the difference between the two. Obviously, I'm not a perfectionist. Sometimes when you watch these unboxing videos, people already have the air out, but that is my like honest first go of using it. So this is the 40 millimeter barrel and the 30 and I just think that's so nice when you do your whole hair and comb through it, it's gonna just look gorgeous and it just feels so much like nicer I know when my um when Georgia did my hair with hers my hair didn't feel like crunchy how it does sometimes when you do it with like a straightener or a curling wand um it felt like not fluffy but like soft I don't know what Maisie's doing up there she's crazy honestly but yeah I'm so impressed with with that I kind of want to try all of the attachments but I don't want this video to be too long so if you do want me to make a video of me doing my whole hair or if you want me to do any tutorials once I get used to this the 30mm one was definitely harder to use than the larger one but I'm obviously not as good as putting my hair on to the air wrap as of yet but yeah let me know in the comments if you want me to do some more videos about it and um, I may do like my impressions or what i think about the air up after having it for like a couple of weeks or a month so let me know if you want to see any of that in the comments and yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe um before you go that would mean the world to me so you can be part of our family i do normally make sort of house content video and vlogs we are currently doing a garden renovation so if you like kind of things like that then check out my first part of that as well um and stick around for the rest by subscribing and yeah thank you again all so much for watching i'm so excited for this and i'm gonna go show matt my two little curls that i've done and i will see you all in the next video Bye, everybody.